What's up everybody, it's your boy Kid Smooth from TickGN.com and today I'm reviewing Gears of War 4 for the Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. Now the Coalition was handed the key to the Gears of War franchise after Microsoft purchased the IP from the Epic Games last year. After playing through Gears 4, I'm proud to say that the Gears of War franchise is in great hands. After your experience with Gears of War 4, you will want to call up the Coalition yourself and personally thank them. Now as far as graphics go, I've never seen an ugly Gears of War game. In fact, the first Gears of War game visuals were so good that Gears 2 and Gears 3 visuals seem like minor upgrades. Gears of War 4 visuals scream next generation and is comparable to the likes of Rise of Rome and Uncharted 4. Gears 4 takes great advantage of the new Unreal Engine 4. The texture quality is the best we've seen in the Gears of War game. The game has so many settings, whether you're witnessing a storm, a beautiful sunny day, or a dark rainy night, the visuals are very, very impressive across the board. Now let's talk about this campaign. Gears of War 4 takes place many years after this events of Gears of War 3, and is centered around the trio of JD, which is Marcus's son, Kate, and Dell. After stealing supplies from the new look cog, the group returns to the plantation ran by Kate's mom. After holding off the DBs in a shootout, things go terribly wrong when Kate's plantation gets run down by the swarm and all of her people are taken, including Kate's mother. JD and Dell offer to help Kate, but not without the help of JD's legendary father, Marcus Phoenix. If anything the earlier Gears of War games lacked, it was character development. In Gears 4, the Coalition has done a tremendous job with character development. JD comes off as immature, he takes the lead when he needs to, and often has to remind his father that he's not a child anymore. The relationship between Marcus and JD seems distant, they don't get along, but the respect is there. Dell comes off as cowardly of the trio. He's the one always worried, timid, and afraid. Dell questions almost anything that seems dangerous. And Kate, she reminds me of what Dom was in Gears 3. No fear and nothing stopping her from getting back to her mother. Kate is simply a badass with a legit motive. Marcus Phoenix is mainly there for support. His role is reduced but is still an important role, but he's no longer the lead. He lets the young trio take charge and only steps in when he needs to. In the early chapters of Gears 4, you'll encounter many battles with DBs who the COG now use as soldiers. I did not enjoy fighting DBs mainly because they were robots and there was no joy in executing them. Stomping on their heads, stabbing them in the chest, it just didn't feel as good if you were doing that to a locust. Now, speaking of the locusts, you don't meet any of the swarm until Act 3, and just before things start to get old and repetitive in Gears 4 campaign, the Coalition introduces players to something new and refreshing, like dodging trees and debris while flanking enemies on your motorcycle, running down juvies with a loader, rescuing your buddies out of the stomach of a snatcher, or battling huge monsters and mechs that move, dash, and take cover better than the mechs available in Titanfall. Gears 4 campaign is 5 acts long with 4 to 6 chapters in each act. Somehow Gears 4 was the longest Gears campaign I've experienced and one of the toughest I've experienced. Thanks to the smarter enemy AI who tossed deadly grenades to force you out of cover, drones use drop shots to keep you moving from left to right, and Gears 4 keep your ammo count high and pay attention to the checkpoints. Not only are DBs and swarm calling for your head, but the thunderstorms make it tough to get from point A to point B. Tornado-like winds allow you to save on ammo by focusing your fire on loose wood to let flying cars, pipes, and houses take out enemies in your path. The Gears of War 4 campaign is full of non-stop action. Appreciate every cutscene or slowdown when it occurs, because every battle is a challenge. The Coalition try to mix up the offering in the campaign by introducing Horde 3.0 like objectives and missions, which can be fun and repetitive at the same time. As far as that superb gameplay Gears of War is known for, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Gears 4 still plays like a Gears game, and if you're a fan of the Gears of War franchise, that's exactly what you want in Gears 4. The mantle kick is back, and grabbing your foes from behind cover is the best addition to the game. New weapons take value away from the often used Nasher shotgun, and power weapons like the drop shot makes camping impossible. At 60 frames per second, this is honestly the smoothest responsive Gears game ever. Multiplayer and Horde mode of course is back and is better than ever. The Coalition might have just delivered the best multiplayer experience in Gears 4. Sure, it doesn't support my favorite capture the meat flag mode, however it does have new modes like dodgeball and arms rates which are great additions. And Guardians received a minor change, Team Leader is now painted gold. Now I'm not sure if I like that change or absolutely hate it. Gears of War 4 also launches with 10 multiplayer maps and of course the classic gridlock returns. 
Gears of War Horde Mode returns with 3.0. Players walk around with the Fabricator, which works like a portable store. The more kills you get, the more cash you'll earn. You can use that cash to upgrade and add more defense to your base. It helps that Gears 4 has more variety and enemy types to take full advantage of this mode. And boss fights are no slouch this time around. Anything goes, even aerial attacks leave players vulnerable. Now, Gears of War is very intense and there's so much going on that is vital that the Coalition had the right sound to match what was happening on screen. My favorite moment was when I was in the middle of a storm and hearing the wind whip past me, the thunder smacking trees and homes, large objects being destroyed and thrown. There's way too much to listen to and the accuracy is pretty scary. All the characters are wearing radios, so when you get too far away from your companions, you'll hear them talk through the radio instead of on screen even if they're a good 90 feet away, which I thought was an interesting, small, but interesting, cool addition. Now, as far as our verdict goes, I must say Gears of War 4 is the Gears of War game fans have been waiting for. It's gruesome, it's gorgeous, it's fun, and best of all, it's addicting. Gears of War finally has a true meaningful story and a new set of characters that will lead the charge in future expeditions. The multiplayer is back and better than ever, the maps are instant classics, and the executions are completely satisfying. Gears of War 4 is the best game in the series. It's simply a beautiful nightmare. Have to give Gears of War 4 a 9.6 out of 10. For more reviews, previews, and all out gaming news, visit TickGN.com and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Xbox is the best box, and I am the best box.